Okay, so these three math mistakes are by far the most common reason why students have a tough time in mathematics. And I'm talking about uh, like middle school math, pre-algebra, but I've seen these mistakes, uh, you know, in much more advanced math like college algebra, even pre-calculus and beyond. So these mistakes are easy to do. And, um, you know, there's a couple different reasons why students make these mistakes. And if you can avoid these mistakes that I'm talking about here, you will definitely increase your odds of doing fantastic in mathematics. But if you keep making these mistakes, unfortunately, it very well could end up, uh, you know, uh, negatively impacting your grade to the point that you may not be able to pass your math class. But uh, you can definitely pass, but you can't make these errors over and over again, all right? It's okay to make mistakes in math. It's not okay to continue to, take, uh, to make mistakes the same mistakes over and over. So I'm gonna show you these mistakes here in just one second, but before we do, I wanna um, ask you, what do you think are some common reasons you've had a tough time in math? But some of you might've been like, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm awesome in math, so I don't make mistakes. That's pretty cool. Put that into the comment section as well. But uh, just think back when you've had a tough time, you know, what were the reasons that uh, you had, you know, difficulty, all right? Now, these mistakes that I'm gonna be talking about, they're, they're type of mistakes, they're not like one specific thing. So I'm gonna be talking about three uh, specific areas of mathematics that if you can get this right, you're going to be well on your way uh, to math success. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. It really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you're having a tough time with math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. So as I indicated, I've been teaching this uh, subject, mathematics, which I'm uh, obsessed with, I love, for decades. You know, I've probably graded 10 million homework quizzes. Well, not that many, but you get the idea. So I'm speaking from experience. I'm not making this stuff up. So if you, again, you know, take note, uh, you know, you'll be like, wow, all right, uh, if I fix this, things are going to go much uh, smoother for me in mathematics. So let's get to it. And we'll start off with our first uh, lovely mistake area, and that is the order of operations. Now, one of the phrases that I've heard the most as a math teacher is, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So basically a student, uh, they'll be like, okay, I am so happy. Here is my test. I finished early even, Mr. Math teacher, give me my A plus. And then I look at their answer and it's like wrong, right? Then I unfortunately I got to take points off, minus 10. And then, you know, the student will get upset. They're like, what are you talking about? You know, look right here, I had the right answer. I said, well, you had that right answer there or you were on the right track, but you gave me the wrong answer. I knew it though, but I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Well, listen, you didn't know it, okay? So a lot of the things I'm going to be talking about here are things that students think they know better than they actually do, okay? Now, why would that be? Well, because one, and I, I get it, you know, myself, I was a student before I was a teacher, you know, sometimes we just, you know, uh, get busy. All right, I'll just leave it at that. You don't want to do all your homework. You don't want to do the practice or you're like, okay, you're doing your homework problems or practice problems. You start doing a few, let's say you have, uh, you know, 20 problems to do. You're like, wow, I'm getting these all right. You do three, four, five or six. You're like, oh man, I'm an expert. I'm a professional. Uh, you don't bother to finish the rest of the work and you get overconfident. So these are the areas here. These three areas are really um, one, these type of areas where students get overconfident. So you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, order of operations, I'm an expert in that. Well, yes, indeed, you might think you are. But if I give you a super challenging problem, a lot of students, a lot, a lot, uh, make uh, errors with this, and you have to master the order of operations. So here is a simple pop quiz for you. We have 10 divided by 2 times 5. Do not use a calculator. What is the answer? Okay. Now, if you're like, all right, I got this, I got this. I'm going to use uh, PEMDAS, all right? You're thinking uh, order of operations. All right, there's no parentheses, no, no powers. Oh, got to do multiplication first. So 2 times 5, that's 10. So this is 10 
divided by 2 times 5, um, of course, is uh, 10. So I did multiplication. Now I've got to do division. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. There is the right answer. So is that the correct answer? Well, if you say it is, unfortunately, that's wrong. So a lot of you are like, all right, I don't like this video, but don't leave yet. Okay, this is the incorrect answer. All right, this is not correct. But you might be saying to yourself, well, you just follow the order of operations, PEMDAS. Well, no, I did it uh, incorrectly to prove a point. Okay, so PEMDAS is yes, we got to do parentheses first. There's no parentheses. We got to do powers or exponents uh, next. There's none of that. But what comes next is multiplication and division. Whatever we see first from left to right. If we see multiplication, then division. In other words, we see this and then this. We'll do multiplication, then division, because we're looking from left to right, or division and multiplication. And in this case, division uh, uh, comes before multiplication. All right. So the course this changes the game, or changes the solution big time. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. That is the correct answer. And, of course, we can celebrate, uh, celebrate with our nice little A plus and 100%. Okay, so this is just a very, very basic illustration of the order of operations. But, you know, you can have some pretty sophisticated numeric operations. In other words, I could have squares, absolute value. I could be throwing in, you know, all sorts of positive and negative numbers and fractions. And, you know, so this gets quite interesting. And the only way you're going to avoid making order of operations mistakes is, one, you need to obviously understand uh, PEMDAS. You need to understand the correct order of operations, which I kind of explained there in a second. And two, you need to be excellent at just kind of writing, you know, it's your academic habits. In other words, you have to be neat and organized and take one step at a time. Write a step. That's why you need to work in pencil, not pen. Take a step and like Focus, all right? Focus is the key to success no matter what you do. And identify, oh, here is the next step. Let me just focus on that, get that done, and then get this done and get this done. Sometimes I like to uh, think of math, you know, when you do um, math correctly for most type of problems, it's kind of like an ice cream cone effect. <laughs> and some of you are saying, what are you talking about, ice cream cone? This guy, he's too much. In other words, here's your problem. And you're kind of just whittling it down, whittle, 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 down to your final solution. So, you know, you're kind of telling the story to your final answer, right? So you're taking a step, 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 okay? So how you write uh, your math, you know, your neatness and your organization is critical as well. But that's not part of the mistakes, but that's probably the number one thing that you have to get right. You have to be neat and organized. But the order of operations, okay? Make sure you do enough practice problems in this uh, uh, particular math skill. This will save you a lot of heartache. Again, you know, I've taught, you know, advanced mathematics. I saw, uh, see pre-calculus students that will get this wrong. And another, there's another reason why uh, students will get this wrong is they, they know it, but they go too fast, all right? You got to slow down. Again, math is a game of focus and discipline, all right? So you got to slow down double check yourself, and just assume that you're going to make an error. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next uh, lovely mistake, and that is fractions. Everyone loves fractions, but, uh, you know, when uh, students see fractions, typically their uh, expressions are like this. I don't like fractions. They don't mind the fraction problems like one-half plus three-fourths. They're like, that's no problem. You know, if you give that, you know, most students are like, yeah, I can get that right. But if I give you something kind of crazy like this, like 3 over 507 plus 7 over 9, uh, 12, then, you know, again, you know, this is just like, oh, forget it. This is why I hate math. I hate fractions uh, because, you know, uh, typically you're like, I got to do all this like LCD, lowest common denominator stuff, you know, on top of you know, knowing how to multiply, divide fractions, there's different rules, but typically students don't like fractions because, you know, uh, op most often uh, time they struggle with is when you have to add and subtract because you got to find the LCD, uh, the lowest common denominator, etc. So, you know, fractions is one of these things and one of these skills that you just simply have to practice. I have tons of videos 
uh, about fractions on my uh, YouTube channel to include lovely little shortcuts, uh, little hacks, but you need to know fractions, okay? And again, uh, you know, I've seen so many students that just kind of like, I don't want to put the time and effort in, and they continue to struggle with fractions, you know, and they're taking Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus, and they're like, eh, and they'll get problems wrong. In other words, they'll add fractions incorrectly. But again, they knew it. They're like, no, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Remember, if you're saying, here you go, here's my test, and, you know, look at me, you know, here's my final answer, and then you see that, oh, boy, I added these things wrong, your teachers, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, I knew you knew it. I'll accept your bad answer because I knew you knew it. So what you have to do, and this is a little test-taking tip, never, ever, ever turn in your test quiz or anything else uh, early. If you have time, you need to think like a math teacher. You got to be suspicious of everything. You know, slow down, double, triple check, audit yourself, you know, as you go. You like grade yourself as you go. Like, all right, did I do this right? Da, 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 da. And of course, you can only do that if you know what you're doing. Okay, so you have to first get great instruction, which means you need to take notes, et cetera, et cetera. So there's other stuff I could have talked about in this video about the three biggest mistakes, but these three areas, order of operations, fractions, these are just the classic uh, weak points for students that struggle in math, okay? And if you don't get these right, uh, unfortunately, they lead to a lot of students not, you know, passing a math class. But if you can get your order of operations down, your fractions down, and this thing I'm going to show you next, and you have the discipline, you'll be in good shape, you know, good, strong foundation to, you know, be successful in algebra and beyond. All right, so let's take a look at this last area. But before we do, I want to ask you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. It does wonders for me on YouTube. It's a big deal for me. So uh, you may not you know, see the impact, but believe me, it really does have a great impact on the growth of my channel. And I've been on YouTube for several years. You know, I love It's my passion to teach mathematics. So I'll be doing it uh, no matter what. Even if you don't subscribe, I'm still going to be posting videos. But if you do, it helps me out tremendously. So when you do that, please hit that notification button as well so you can get my latest videos. And I do love to teach from basic to advanced math like calculus. All right, let's go ahead and continue on with our last uh, area where students struggle with, and that is positive and negative numbers. Now, again, this is one of these things that students are like, yes, I know this. I know this, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Why are you wasting my time? I know what negative 3 times negative 2 is. A negative times a negative is a positive, right, like positive 6. No problem. Guess what happens, okay? Even the top math students, they'll be like negative 10 times, you know, uh, negative 2, and they'll put down uh, negative uh, 20. Or they'll put down like negative 30, okay? They'll, they'll write something crazy. I have done that, okay? And when you're doing so much math, you're writing things down, oftentimes you just lose focus. It just takes a quick, quick second, and you end up putting down something. You're like, I have no idea why I did that. That's completely normal. Now, out of all these mistakes right here, uh, positive, negative numbers, fractions, order of operations, there's basically two, I'm going to kind of classify it in two ways, okay? So 50% of the reason students make these mistakes is because they just never really learned it properly, okay? They're like, mm, you know, ah, you know, I did, just didn't study hard enough, didn't get great instruction, didn't take notes, not paying attention. So that's why they're making these mistakes because they truly don't even under, understand what they're doing. So that's like half the students. The other half of the students where they make these errors is because they're going too fast, right? And they're not, you know, they don't have strong academic habits. In other words, stopping one step at a time, stopping to think, you know, double checking yourself, triple checking yourself. You have to be suspicious of what you're writing down, even myself. Okay, and I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. Sometimes I'll write something down. I'll be like, I have no idea why I did that. Now, why do you think that is? It's because you lose focus. It's so easy to lose our focus. That goes for all of us, right? Like right now, I hope to keep your attention on me as we go through you know, these math mistakes, but, you know, if your phone notification goes off or, you know, someone outside, you know, honks their horn or whatever the case is, we can easily get knocked off, you know, or we could be distracted in a fraction of a second. We don't even realize it and we can make an error. That's why you need to double check as you go. So, but the first order of business is to make sure you understand this stuff in the first place. So if you need help with 
fractions, order of operations, mathematics, whatnot. I have a great basic math course. It's a little mini course. It's called Math Foundations. You'll find a link to that in the description of this video, though. But I kind of, it's like a little boot camp for basic mathematics. It will build a strong foundation for you. But for those of you that know this stuff already, what you have to do is kind of, you know, have the right approach. Slow down, make sure you're writing things step by step. And if you get these things right, these big th uh, three things right, then you'll be well on your way to handle more uh, interesting stuff like algebra and beyond. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.